All right, welcome back to Curse of the Old Gods. My name is Justice, and we are back today to go on our first medium run. I just wanted to take a look at our crystal skulls. It looks like we don't have anything that I really want that we can buy. Uh, the things I'm interested in are the Divine Perception. That looks pretty incredible, as well as Serpent's Bounty. Those two are the two that I'm leaning towards. So that's a 60 cost and a 90 cost. We have quite a ways to go before we can grab them. Uh, we might actually be incentivized to grab something cheap just to make it a little bit easier. I think there is a, yeah, traps deal 100% more damage to enemy for, for five. Sure, why not? We'll take that for now. It's not running us a whole lot, and uh, it's not like we can afford another point of divine favor anyway. So let's go on our first medium exploration. Hopefully this one works out. Uh, they get a little bit more intense because the longer you go, the less risks you can take and the more corruption really starts to impact your run. Uh, I really like the double stats room. I don't like the double question mark on the way to the stats room. So the third stats room up above. I could go gold, relic, gold, gold, weapon, stats. Uh, you know what? Just for fun, we'll go gold, question mark, relic, question mark. You know what? We got to find out what these question marks are. I don't know if they are mystery rooms or if they are, like, rooms that change every time. So it could be interesting, you know? I did not see that, uh, trap shot coming in. Woo! Aw, they don't hit them. They don't hit each other. That would have been nice. Goodbye. <laughs> I saw that trap shot and set it out. Oh, no, no, no. Why? Why? Damn it, Justice. You always do this. Is that a heavy weapon? Please be a heavy weapon. It's not. It's a feathered spear, isn't it? Yep. Really strong spear weapon, but does not help me with the fact that I forgot to check to see if I needed them to open up walls for me. Uh, it looks like that's a whole room. I think it had a chest. Ah. That's such a disappointment. I gotta get better at that. I don't know why. I just, I'm like, go into room, kill everything, murder hobo fast. I don't know. It is what it is. Ow. Struff. I have made mistakes. I thought I could stand there. I thought it was a safe spot. I was very, very wrong. I regret everything. <laughs> wow that was uh we're gonna call that a fluke that wasn't uh a carefully calculated horrible plan of mine those don't exist come on come on i'm gonna try to remember to make sure i light all the sconces not only to uh reduce the amount of damage i'm taking but so you guys can actually see what's going on a little bit better Aw, oh, you put the sconce out? I just lit that. That's rude. I mean, you have to realize that's rude. Aw, oh, I could have gotten a trap kill there. Uh, anybody else in here before I get distracted and start looting? No, but there's another... There's, there's, I, did, I did the same exact thing I just said I wasn't going to do. <laughs> I would have checked these before I got... Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to life as justice. Oh, well. We are just going to keep moving on, and uh, hopefully the third or fourth time I tell myself that, I will actually have learned something. Woo! I always forget that these weapons actually use your stamina. Unlike most of them that I use, so I uh, tend to take more hits because I run out of stamina when I'm using the spear or the uh, heavy weapons. But they are very strong. I need I need to get practiced using them so that it's not a death sentence every time I pick one up and decide to use it. So we're maybe maybe today's the day. Uh, out of our weapons, obviously the feather spear is the best one we have on us, and it gives us a buff to our stamina with every kill. So that's pretty cool. Not not a buff, but it restores one.
Okay. Uh, regain 3% of max health when you pass through a door is really good. Great way to uh, sustain, but heal 6% of max health when an enemy is killed by environment. You can do that a lot more often, and it's a lot more sustainable, I think. So I'm going to say it's worth picking up our first curse to be able to sustain our health pretty readily. Now watch, we pick up Bloodlust, and I'm like, oh, well, now I wish I didn't do that. Oh, well, we'll see what we get. Curse number one, Mortal Harvest. The life essence of those who sell you the sacred temple is not wasted. The value of blood is far greater than that of precious metals when used wisely. Urns no longer contain gold, but are filled with blood. Blood inflicts corruption, so we don't want blood. Lame. Uh, I feel like that is a way that does the closing off. Oh, it does it. Okay, yeah. I, re I remember I've checked this a couple times, and I always think that it's going to close off, but it doesn't. So let that do its thing, and then we'll just nicely and casually walk through. Oh, okay. And we don't have trap chests or anything. Oh, a claw weapon. Oh, baby. It's, it's like they knew that I was looking for one. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I love the claw weapons. I really do. I should have turned the light on before I did that. All right. Uh, woo. Okay. Okay. We're starting to get the combos down here. Woo. That was close. All right, uh, pick up all that gold. Uh, we don't have a long enough read timer to go and continue it. Was that a chest or was that just a... That was just a pretty thing. Okay. Anything up... No, nothing up that way. All right. I rolled too early a lot there. Oh, that's bad. Woo! Those are not parryable, I don't think. I mean, there's only one way to find out, but I don't know if right now is the time. Ceremonial dagger, 3% base damage per point of perception. Okay. Dagger is a pretty cool attack animation, too. I like it. I did not look for anything explosive in the walls, so that was a great job by me once again. But luckily, didn't miss anything this time. Uh, we were definitely going to offer gold for 250 max health and 25% gold find. I honestly just really like having the max health. I think it does. It pays dividends on keeping me alive, obviously, because I am very bad at not taking damage. I was doing so good a couple times in here, and then all of a sudden I'm just like, oh, I'm going to I'm going to get hit a lot. Uh, I think we bypassed this one, right? We have uh, environmental kills restoring 6% of our max HP. There's no reason to gain any more corruption than we need to. We can actually hold off this next curse for one extra room by doing this, and I think that's probably a worthwhile trade. Uh, speaking of environment kills, come here. All right, that's 12% max HP right there. 18% max HP right there. Follow me, girl. Woo! Can you guys... Get to the... Ooh. A little bit too close for comfort there. That's one, two... Woo! I got a little bit too close for comfort there. Uh, Can you walk towards me? Oh, wait, no. We're full HP. We're fine. I got a little bit excited because we healed up so much right there. Like, imagine if we took the... Uh, imagine if we took the hate... Oh, bad. Is this a heaven? No. I... <laughs> Uh, imagine if we took the Haven there, though, and then we had the option to heal for our entire HP pool right after. That would just be really sad. I feel like I took Corruption, gained an extra curse, and what if it was a bad curse? Like, the one that spawns those bats. Or if it was Hallucinations and I lost all access to my, uh... Oh. I... I don't know what happened there. Alright, we're fine. I took an extra hit, though. Feels bad, man. Uh, provides passive illumination. Nah. I got a claw, man. Claws are cool. Once I get some base damage to back it up, it'll be fantastic. Uh, plus 10% damage, plus 25% gold find. We are getting a curse here anyway. So I'm gonna go for it. 
I'm probably going to find about a million ways to justify why I want to take the top thing every time. But, I mean, stats are stats, man. I don't know if I really need to make a case for it every time. But I, I'm really just convincing myself that it's okay to do the bad thing that I'm doing. Because it's worth it in the end. Creeping gloom. The greatest lesson pain teaches is that anything can be lost at any given moment. Light, hope, and life itself. Taking damage triggers a wave of darkness, extinguishing any fire source in a large zone, and you deal plus 10% more damage in light. Okay. So that's a buff and a debuff at the same time, so I, I like that. This is one of the curses that I'm, I'm all about. Okay, the dagger does a little bit of an interrupt. Oh, man, I didn't keep the uh, combo up. I think our secondary actually does a little bit more damage than our claws right now, and it has about the same attack speed, which is pretty cool. Am um, I missing anything in here? Let's light these up, see if we can get some more vision in here. It's so dark. Uh, nope, nothing. Okay. Uh, is it actually better? Uh, 12 and 2, 27 and 12. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. We're going to need an upgrade on our claw weapon ASAP. Either that or we might have to consider taking something that just gives us bonus stats on our dagger or something that, like has more base damage if you have a dagger secondary because our dagger is doing work and our claws don't even one shot enemies uh what is this heal two percent more wow so we gain eight percent hp when an enemy is killed by the environment i don't think we ever die unless we do something really stupid like die to the environment Who's ever done that though? I don't think I don't think uh have I done that in this this save file? I can't say that I have done it on this save, so you guys don't know. Yeah, I've never died in the environment. <laughs> Alright, so no curse this time. We are at 70 though, so we're getting pretty close to grabbing another one. Uh kind of really depends on whether or not we take damage here. Let's see if we can get oh. Ooh, nice! Oh, she didn't light on fire? Oh, I should have looked for explosives. Because that's... Yeah, this is the room with all... Ah! Alright, today's theme is just not using brain. Oh, man. Uh, if that was double-sized, maybe it reaches it. But yeah, we have no way whatsoever of busting in there. Feels really bad because I can see the gold piles. It's just, like, haunting me. It's like, Justice, you could have had this. But, uh, can't now. I am feeling a lot more confident in my parries today. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they are a lot more online than they... Uh, I shouldn't talk. <laughs> uh, up until that moment, they had been a lot more online than they had been uh, in recent times. Okay, so that has a little interrupt on the dagger shots. It doesn't have to be a full charged hit. Ooh, there we go. Now our claw weapon does damage. Uh, not as much as our dagger still, but it does damage. We'll take that. Damage is better than no damage, you know? Uh, 250 max health, 25% gold find. Uh, how far are we in here? I'm actually considering this, whether or not it's worth. We have a whole nother floor. More gold find means we take less corruption later, and there's a lot more gold to find farther in. Just as says while convincing himself that it's okay to take the curse again. Guys, I well, I don't know why you would suggest such a thing. I'm not I'm not just justifying my horrible life choices here. I would never do that. That's that's I I don't know why you would say such a thing. Horrible. <laughs> Some enemies lie dormant, hidden- Oh, the frickin' bats! Okay. Well, we got the bats back. I don't like the bats. I don't like the bats at all, you know? Okay, that was better. Nice! One combo, we can blast the uh, Jaguar out completely. 
cool. All right, we're dodging, we're parrying. Uh, let's go ahead and recharge our stamina, kill the Jaguar in one quick combo, and then go for... I forgot his name already. I am a bad YouTuber. That's all right, I will rediscover it shortly. I'm just gonna keep hitting. Oh, no, get out of there. Woo. Oh. Oh, I thought my attack would cancel that. That was completely my fault. And goodbye. Oh, that was pretty close, guys. Uh, well, not close as in close to dying, but pretty close to losing a lot more health than I really should have. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of Mortal Harvest. I want to get my gold find back again. I know I really hate the... Uh, 1%. Ooh, this scales so much better than our claw weapon, but we do have that claw weapon does more damage thing. Oh, wow. This is one heck of a shiv. Jesus. Evading an attack with offhand combo fully restores stamina. Fully? Okay, yeah, we're taking that 100%. Uh, it also has the bonus of 30% more damage against poisoned enemies, and 20% base damage of main weapon is a mace. If this was a mace, I would make the switch right now. I'm still debating. This sword will one-hit combo things, which is something that I like. And it has scaling. I can't really justify sticking with the claw. I want to. I really do, but I can't. I can't do it. Oh, could I light these, like, during the fight and have light in here so I take less damage? It looks like I could. Okay. Well, now we know for the next time. You know, well, it's all about learning new things for the next time. I think that's good. Uh, we can go to a haven to heal up, but I don't think we really need to. Uh, we can get a double stat room if we go this way. Uh, but, yeah, with double stat room and then a haven? Yeah, that's probably the way to go. And then we go back in with gold weapon. Yeah, and we can start off with a weapon, maybe find that mace that we're looking for now. And just really go in on dagger mace. I think that's definitely a way to go. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get a heal here. I know I've been not really using the uh, environment to kill things lately, but it's not like we've lost that capability. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh! I forgot he has a third hit. Oh, no, I'm bad. Whew! That was close. Please leave me alone, big guy. I don't like you. I thought I interrupted that one. I did not. Oh, stop with the third hits, man. You're making me look bad. Anyway, I can environment kill you to heal a little bit. You've done so much damage to me, man. Uh, yeah, okay, I can. All right, so we healed 120 from that. That's not bad. Uh, we kind of... I, I'd say that that's a decent... Oh, um, I hate that their bats run away from the light. It makes it really annoying when you're trying to kill them. But as soon as you switch to a non-light producing weapon, they're able to just sneak up on you. All right. Anyway, um, we have a venomous claw and we still do have claw weapons deal 20% more damage right now. Uh, we have an ancient buckler. That does more damage than the dagger. Uh, it doesn't attack as fast, but we might just want to go claw shield. Oh, that would be if I was taking the claw. I can't take both, obviously. Hmm. I don't think that claw is really worth switching from the sword. Uh, it, it kind of is, though. It kind of really is. It does so much damage. It has poison attacks, which... We don't have anything that gives bonus to poison, but we have plus bonus damage on our dagger for if they're poisoned. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm going to talk myself out of it. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to take it. We're going to take gold and get a buckler, making it easier to parry. But then what's our damage source? Our damage source is just this sword that doesn't do that much. Uh, we're going to need a lot more points in perception then. Mm, it's a tier 3 buckler, so it's not bad. Plus 15% more damage in the light. Yeah, okay, I'm doing it. And it's a gold cost, so it's not going to give us extra corruption. We're not going to get cursed by it. I, I was really enjoying the dagger, don't get me wrong. But I feel like this is going to be a little bit better for my chances of survival. 
Which is the most important thing when you're dealing with getting cursed by dead gods. All right. Uh, what are we dealing with this time? What is this room? Eventually, I'm going to start recognizing the rooms so I know. Okay. Oh, jeez. I did all that wrong. Okay, uh, do we have any... We do. Ooh. Oh, no. Ja. Okay. Can you stop triple casting your death balls of awfulness? Please? Did that not hit any of them? Please, walk this way. Alright, I've reflected that one. I know we can just, like, spam stun until we can do what we need to do, but I need her to die to the environment and heal me. So I've already let the greed timer run out. Okay, so you just dodge into that freely. Okay, I can do that. I did you mean? How did I not dodge that in time? Oh, no, no, no. Justice. Oh, no. Well, we took a lot more damage than we healed there. I don't know if it was worth it after all. Uh, perfect shots. Pierce through enemies. Remove one corruption for each enemy killed. Uh, maybe. It's not like we have a uh, excellent alternative right now. Uh, what is this one? 30% more damage while in darkness. Kills increased move speed. Uh, either one's going to probably be better than the, uh, the spear that I'm not using and give me a ranged option. All right, now we can move out of that before I come out of this and get hit. Uh, removes one corruption for each enemy killed. That's not bad. Hmm. How much dungeon do we have left? It might be worthwhile. It might be able to keep us away from getting our fifth curse because we're definitely getting our third when we leave this room. I'm reducing our curse even by a little bit. It's pretty worth... Oh, is there nothing there? Okay. It was just the gold. I'd rather have a heavy weapon just so I could bust down those doors that I always forget about. But, you know, the game doesn't always provide you whatever you think you need. Alright, that's one down. Oh, yeah. Those interruptions are just fantastic. Oh, I had so many environmental kill options here. Uh, does environmental kill work on... Ooh, this one scales, though. And has fire attacks that can light sconces from a distance. Uh, let's try it. Okay, we do not heal from killing the little bats. Unfortunate, because that would make them a lot more viable. Like, a lot less of a big deal. All right, we'll take those kills. Uh, oh, we're back to full HP. Oh, that is so good. 8% healing per area kill. That's honestly insane. Okay, I feel like we probably should have kept the corruption bow then and just done our best to... Uh... Oh, we lose a relic slot. That's bad. Uh, what relic are we losing here? Oh, did we not have full relic slots? Oh, we didn't. Okay, so that's not as bad. I mean, it's still bad. I'd like to have that relic slot back. But the extra three divine favors could be pretty nice. I only want this one. All right. See what we unlocked here. Our trust chapped. No. Okay. Restores one percent of max health for each enemy killed. I think we have enough sustain. Uh, and this one doesn't scale as well, but it does so much more damage. And it still has fire attacks. I like the claws. Guys, stop judging me. I like the claws. <laughs> There's so much fun. And look at that passive light. It's convenient, you know? Well, how are you going to hit me when I'm busy blocking his attack? You know, that's not fair. All 
Alright, we got an environmental hazard here. Oh no, just to stop. Any more environmental hazards, or was that it? Just wipe him out. Dodge that with the dodge roll. There we go. I always try to parry those, and they're... I, I don't know. I don't, the indicator's not poor. I'm just bad at understanding whatever the indicator's telling me that it's going to hit. Can we take that? Ah, oh, we took extra gold find earlier, so we wouldn't have to. Uh, how close are we getting to the end? How much gold find is left is what I'm asking. Uh, stat room and one gold room. We are really close to the end. Screw it. This doesn't quite give us the curse. I'm going to justify it every single time. for some, In some kind of way, it's going to happen. All right. Well, you bats can just stay in this room then. I don't care what you do. More stats. Stats are king. That's the one thing that I know about most games. Stats are just always going to be one of the most powerful things you can add to your character. I hate this enemy. Don't dodge away from him. <laughs> I burned a bat. I love that aggressive dash forward with the claw. It's really satisfying. Like, it just feels good. It's, it's like it's got a tactile sensation. It's really cool. Oh, Necromancer? Is that his name? Anybody else in here other than bats? Oh, my greed timer ran out anyway. Oh, haha. Are there any more environmental hazards in here? Wouldn't mind healing 8% of my max HP. Uh, nah, probably should have stuck with the corruption, though. And is there anything that I want you to bust open for me, lady? It's possible. Anything go boom? Or go she shink. Uh, we might be able to use this. If I can get her to walk in here. Uh, she pops out of the fire. Does she even take damage from it? I couldn't tell you. All right. Fair enough. Uh, we can always heal up more later. It's not like we're that bad on health. I just like to maintain. Oh. Blade? <laughs> later. And we are back to full. That's what I'm talking about. We just got so much sustain this run. It's actually insane. 8% max health per environmental kill is... It's powerful. That's all I'm saying. It is powerful. Come, come. Stop walking towards me and then away. Freak me out, Bat. Uh, we obviously don't need the Haven, so I think we go for the unknown. Uh, wasn't there another stat room? Do we have that curse that makes the map foggy? No? Okay, I'm just misremembering the map. Okay, so we'll take the question mark. Gold and then weapon, I guess. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to be taking damage. I'm not going to bother taking more curse. Hey, I didn't talk myself into it for once. We'll take it. That's a step in a direction. I don't know if it's the right direction or the wrong direction, but it's a direction. Blinding greed. The glint of gold is the only light that truly soothes the darkness and ambition 
Oh, that only that soothes when darkness and ambition join forces. Gold on the ground disappears after a short time. The amount of gold on the ground increases. So there's more gold on the ground, but gold go bye-bye fast. Okay, got it. Can I please roll out? Okay. I gotta do this. I think that solved all of my problems instantly. I was looking for gold, and then I kept rolling into the enemy. I forgot that enemies kind of block your roll. Like, if you roll directly at them, so it's better to kind of angle or roll to the side. Is this? Why is there so much gold in there? Can I get that? Oh, it's going away. Is it this way? Does this loop? Oh, no. I was looking for gold, so I missed the gold. Can you move your assets? Ah, oh, the rest of it disappeared. Oh, well, we got most of it. Bats, go away. I think we also killed an enemy <laughs> with that. So we ended up getting a full heal again. How do we lose, honestly? Is he taking damage from the fire at all? Uh, I think he might have taken a little bit. Well, come here then. I put the fire away. Uh, what's that? There's no way it's better than the claws, right? No. All right. Uh, do we want gold or do we want just a couple weapon slot options? Uh, let's go gold for the chance that maybe I get that uh, like at a super amazing weapon and I don't have to spend curse on it. Now it's a bit of an off chance, but you know. Doesn't make it not possible. Oh, I thought I was out of the range of that. Stop dodging away from him, just a side dodge, side. Okay. Do you wanna do any more mess ups, Justice? Come on, come on. All right, uh, we get eight to the, oh. Oh, we still had an open mod. We still had an open slot. That's insane. This far into the run, some runs, I feel like I have so many relic options that I'm like turning down relics constantly. This time I still haven't, I, I just reached the end of them and I have one locked. I don't know. This is the ultimate sustain build, I guess. I mean, we didn't take like healing on our weapons. So we could have even gone farther. And, uh... Is there any way to open that? Oh, hi, gold. I don't think there's any way to open that, is there? I abandoned another one. Can you do... No. What about shield? Ha! No. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I do it all the time. It is going to be something I do all the time until I don't. Uh, regain 3% of max health when you pass through a door. Uh, do we weaken enemies? Yeah, we do when we parry. Uh, no, I'm fine. Uh, actually, what level is that relic? It's level 2. How many more environmental cat hazards do we have? Where are we? We're no. This is the gold room before the weapon room, and the weapon room is the last room. Yeah, if we found this relic uh, a little bit later, like after we'd already gotten through the last room, like right before we go into the boss fight, I would definitely swap out our uh, healing from AOE damage, like trap damage and stuff, because there's not going to be traps assisting us in the final fight. But at this point, just having the sustain is too good for me to pass up right now. Because there's a chance I take all of my health and damage again in the next room against one of those big headless dudes. Speaking of which... Lurkers, Death Wives, Dead Eyes, 
Headless Guardians. These are the ones that do all of the damage to me and make me cry. Uh, then we have Infernal Jaguars. Oh, those are the champion level ones. Zakolkir the Blood Hunter. All right, that's who we're going to fight. No, that's who we already fought. Yeah, we have a whole new boss to fight now. Sweet, sweet. Uh, she's going to die from the fire, isn't she? If she doesn't, can I get her to walk on one of these traps? Uh, I don't see that as very likely. What if I just walk at her? Walk onto the trap. Gain your distance away. <laughs> it worked. Oh, why did that work? I definitely parried way too early there, so I'm glad it was lenient with me and said that uh, he missed, because I absolutely missed my parry there. Okay, roll behind him. Uh, trap. There we go. I knew I'd get a heal there, so I tried to force him back onto the trap. I think I took an extra hit for it, but it filled me back up to almost full. So I'm going to say that was a worthwhile trade. Uh... No, it's not even really a better shield. I mean, 50% more damage while in light is kind of a wasted stat, and having scaling on perception... I mean, it does do more damage, and it is fire attacks. Uh, if we'd found this a lot earlier in the run, I would take it, just so I could bust down all those doors. And secondary weapon dagger. We're definitely not swapping out from shield, but we have five points of divine favor. We're going to go ahead and roll. One percent per damage uh, for point of perception. Eh. You're not getting me all excited, game. I'm hoping for something that really just like locks it in home. Something like that. Finisher and charge attack interrupt regular enemies' attacks. I don't know if you guys know this about me yet, but uh, when I see a cursed weapon, I want a cursed weapon. <laughs> And we can offer gold for it, so it doesn't give us more corruption than it needs to. But we're definitely taking the final curse as we go in. But I think our cursed weapon is going to be absolutely worthwhile, as every single one of them that I use that I have used so far has been. All right, let's do it. This is going to be our first time fighting the medium link floor boss. Immortality is the greatest of all curses, and death, it's cure. I feel like I say this every single run. I take the fifth curse. Health drops over time until it reaches 1 HP. All right, well, at least we can actually see our health bar, so we don't have to be like, I know that I've lost health, but I don't know how much. All right. Uh, so this guy looks kind of like an Aztec god of some kind. Oh, okay. I wonder if it's better to try to parry his attacks. Ooh, okay. Oh, no. Ah, okay. Landmines and variable attacks. Oh, where do I even dodge to? Oh, what are you? Okay. Woosa. Woosa, buddy. Ah. Oh, okay. You need to calm it down. At least this weapon does a lot of damage. I need you to calm it down, hombre. You are beating my ass. Is there any AoE that hurts you, maybe, so I can heal? Ooh, that is just a really painful attack. He goes in. Okay, you can dodge over that one, though. Uh, I probably could have dodge rolled that. Oh, yes! Uh, how does it feel? Cursed weapons for the wind! Oh, that's so nice. Look at all these skulls, too. Oh, guys, we're popping off. Guys, we are popping off. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh, I can't believe we got through that. It it felt good the entire run until I got into that boss fight. And 
blank or something it's and knee pack the cursed quint oh eclipse of the cursed twins that's the name of this boss fight uh but it looks like they have names so we'll have to find out who they are but they dealt 857 damage to me that fight Whew, that's a lot oh, i didn't even look at how many successes and yeah i didn't i didn't look at anything i got distracted because i lived uh is there statistics there we go oh it doesn't have It doesn't have it. Okay, that's really sad. I was going to leave you guys on the victory screen, but I don't know how to get there, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, that was fun. Oh, what is their name? Let's find out. We have the opportunity now. Litz and Nipak, the cursed twin, uh, cursed twins. Main uh, yeah, so we have to beat them five times. Oh, that's the second time we fought them. Okay. Well, either way. Really powerful opponent. That was a lot of fun. And we successfully completed our first medium temple. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys stopping by and supporting the channel. If you are enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. It does help the channel grow. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.